Yeah, g'day guys. Graham here. I uh, just wanted to do a bit of a live and show you my Renault that I've got going on at Armidale at the moment. So it's coming along well, but um, yeah, I haven't really shared too much on this one. I haven't really um, done many videos on this one, so I just wanted to yeah give you a walkthrough and show you where we're at with it so far. Okay, so I've had the uh, I've had this uh, the old lawn that all ripped out. It was pretty dire, so had that all ripped out. This tree is a bit of a nightmare to be honest, and I didn't really realise it was on the verge. So I've requested that they come and trim it up a bit um, because yeah, it definitely needs it. So um, it's a big tree. A uh, couple of skip bins have been filled now big 10 cubers and yeah okay so the house this will be rendered the front of this house okay it's pretty ugly at the moment the old red brick um, definitely needs some attention here as well so handyman will sort all that out for me the, uh, the woodwork but I've got my render guy starting early next week there's a trolley not sure why that's there that's probably a bit of the bit to do with the area this location Armadale for anyone who's not from Perth, it's it's uh, it's not a great area. It's probably one of the worst in Perth as far as I'm concerned, but it's absolutely hot with interstate investors. Um, yeah, so, yeah, a lot of the interstate investors have been hitting the really cheap areas because of the strong rental yields that it offers. Um, but, yeah, so, anyway, it's so very hot. It's had a lot of growth, um, and I'm expecting to do really well on this project. I purchased it for 250, which is an absolute steal, and I'm sort of forecasting sort of a 470 sale plus, um, and it's going to cost me about 60 grand to rent it. So, but I'll keep showing you through. Normally, I would get rid of this patio, but there's a few. By taking this patio off at the, off the top here, I'll be uncovering a few little issues. But because I know it's going to be an investor that buys this property, it's just not a massive issue. I can it can look good once I'm finished with it anyway. So. I'll take you through the house. Okay, so we haven't painted or anything like that. You can see the walls are all pretty dire. So this is the front living area here. All the uh, lights have been replaced. We've got sort of oyster lights and all that in here now, which is good. This is a front bedroom here. So you can see we've started laying the floor. Okay, so... Um, as we come through, we've got the kitchen here. So it's a bit of an awkward shaped kitchen, so I've had to go sort of that style there, the dishwasher, and then pantry and fridge recess there. And then the laundry comes off here. So yeah, dining area here. This part in here was actually an add-on, an extension at some stage, so trees are here. So initially it would have been a three by one, it's now a four by two. So we've got one bathroom here, Tyler hasn't finished yet. So, toilet. And one bedroom, two bedrooms, so that's three, including the one at the front. So for this area, it's quite a large block. Uh, sorry, large house. So this is another living area. So this was the extension, so good size living area. Got some sort of doors going out the back there. And then master bedroom here. So this is the master bedroom add-on. Probably gonna have to put some sort of robe in there for the master because there's nothing here. And then we've got the ensuite as well, so quite a large ensuite as well. And as we go outside the back, big patio. So they must have this patio done when they had the one at the front done. So, big concrete space. So this is good. You can clean it all up. And yeah, big space at the at the back there. So that was sort of knee, well, probably waist high. That's how long it was. I've just had a guy clean that all up. So it'll need to be cleaned up more. But I'm not going to go to the effort of of um, so a bit more. I need to clean it all up. But yeah, with the way I, with these Renaults that I've been doing in these sort of areas. Over the last you know year or so, I haven't been going to the extent of actually um, 
of doing landscaping at the back because the investors who are buying just don't care. So uh, I'd make the front look good. So I'll put some nice grass down at the front, render it and give it some street appeal. But the backyard, because it's, you know, tenants and stuff like that, and they typically don't look after their yards and that sort of thing anyway. The, it, well, yeah, it's really not adding any value by me putting in a, you know, by putting in grass and retic and that sort of stuff in the back. So, but yeah, anyway, I just want to give you an update on the property. I wanted to show you how it's sort of progressing. And, um, yeah, I think I'm due for staging on the 26th for this one. So where are we today? Don't even know what the date is. So, uh, 714. Yeah, t two or three weeks or two, whatever it is. So, but anyway, uh, we'll be fine. We'll be able to hit that milestone. Um, yeah, I've also obviously got my Palmelia one on. I'm going to do a live and show you that reno tomorrow. That one's nearly finished. That's actually getting staged next week on the 12th. Um, so, yeah, so, and then this one will get staged two weeks later. So, anyway, I, yeah, try to push them out pretty quickly. Um, the, the one at Warm, at the, the other one at Palmelia, not the same sort of profit margin. I'm only sort of forecasting about sort of 55, 60 on that one, whereas this one I'm sort of forecasting sort of 120, 130, or something like that. So, uh, but yeah, between the two of them, it should be about a 200K profit. So, um, yeah, and obviously renovating them at the same time. Uh, yeah, so it just works well together. Anyway, thank you. And I, like I said, I'll do another live tomorrow to share my um, updates on the, on the other one I've got going down at Palmelia.